Hello folks, today I'd like to hit you guys up with a proof of concept video. This is uh, to showcase how Soul Tether and uh, Corrupted Soul with Immortal Ambition uh, work together. So uh, this is a follow-up video to the video I made at the beginning, or right before the league, kind of speculating on how this would work. Um, so let me just go through the basics of it real quick and look at my setup and what I ended up doing to achieve the uh, Soul Tether effect. So first things first, what is Soul Tether? Grants you Immortal Ambition. Immortal Ambition uh, makes it so your ES starts at zero. See, so my ES is at zero out of 3,700 or so. And um, it makes it so that your life leech effects aren't removed on full life, so you get over leech. And then your over leech goes into energy shield leech. And the energy shield leech you get is actually based off of your life leech, not your energy shield leech with Soul Tether. Um, so that's pretty unique. All right, so that's the first thing. Uh, and then the second thing is that I have a uh, Glorious Vanity, which gives me access to Corrupted Soul. Here I get 15% of max life as max ES. I also get that uh, here a little bit. Uh, there's another 3% there. And actually on the Soul Tether itself, there's another 6. So a good chunk of life as ES, and then that actually scales further off percent ES. So what you the goal here is, you go for a ton of um, hybrid life and ES nodes. Like you have a cluster here, there's another cluster here, uh, cl cluster up here as well. And then you get a generally large effective, uh, flat effective health pool. Okay, so right now I've got about 4,200 life, uh, 3,700 ES. This is at level 90 with, I would say like pretty, like decent enough gear, but not like nothing crazy. And actually a lot of this is based around damage more so than um, defense, because I've got like a Wraith Lord, I've got a Squire set up, I've got a Flesh Crafter, right? So like, I could make this a lot tankier if I if I wanted to, but um, I'm just kind of like doing a meme build right now with uh, eight Goatmen, so I kind of needed the extra damage to get the Goatmen online. Uh, okay, so, um, okay, and then the other thing that I have, uh, there's well, there's two other things actually. So then I have this cluster here, which is um, the leech cluster. So you get 10% instant leech. And then normally, if I you're just take this out for a second, uh, what you see is that this is an energy shield leech cluster. And there's uh, some spell damage stuff here. And you know, it's not very good for the build. Um, so instead, we uh, are able to convert it into minion damage, which we need a lot more than the energy shield leech anyway, because this build doesn't have as much access to just like percent increased minion damage as we're losing our uh, jewel socket up here, right? So uh, you can actually get it down here as well. So here's 31%, here's another 33, so that's like 60 something. And then, you know, ideally you would have it here as well, and then maybe you have one or two of these nodes be minion damage as well, and then you could get like, you know, um, 90 to 100 or so, and then that would kind of offset the, the cost of the jewel and actually the jewel would be a pretty efficient source of damage in that case because all these nodes you'd be picking up would be damage uh, okay so then that's how the jewel works and why i'm choosing to use it and it also obviously because it grants us corrupted soul this is normally eldritch, ba eldritch battery and uh the last thing here we have vitality void anointed onto our amulet so we get percent increase total max life and increase total recovery per second. This helps us fill our globe faster so we start overleaching faster, but it also um, does apply to the energy shield leech because the, the leech that you get is based off of your life leech when you're using immortal ambition. Okay, so that's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of information. Let's just hop into a map so you can see what it looks like. And now the one quick thing about the damage and like how this build is kind of functioning too. Um, the thing about instant leech is it's good to have a lot of small, quick, fast hits. Okay, so things that hit twice or things that hit multiple times uh, will give you a lot of leech back. Um, the Goatmen, these are uh, bearded sky colors. They have like a couple of different abilities. They have a spark. They have a lightning nova that hits twice, and then they have like a thing they lay on the ground that's basically like orb of storms, and that hits a bunch as well. So these things each, like every second, I want to say they're hitting like. At, at least 10 times a second, at least, when you factor in everything that's going on. Uh, and then there's eight of them, so you can imagine that's quite a few hits per second, right? All right, so I've got the Flesh Crafter, so they ignore Ellie Res. I've actually got them in a Reverberation Wand, and I think that this actually now, with this Wraith Lord helmet, might actually be best in slot for um, spellcasting 
minions and uh, or spellcasting specters. And that is because you get so many plus levels. Because this has plus levels of socketed gems, which works with the empower. So you get a plus four empower, um, and then plus two from this. And then you get your plus two elsewhere. And then uh, I also have a plus one on my ambulance. So I have level 30 race specter, which is, you know, level 81 specter, which is nasty. Um, and then, of course, you get on the reverberation wand, you also get uh, spell echo, control destruction. Uh, which are good links, and then you can get all the things on the Squire as well, which I have minion speed, energy leech, minion damage, and then I have an awakened added lightning damage here, because this one also benefits a lot from uh, added gem levels. So it's giving 480 added damage. So that's the uh, offenses and the leech. Let's hop into a map. Let's just roll up the quick and easy map here. Um, temp change sucks, but whatever. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Ooh. XP. Can't complain about XP. All right. So I usually start off by just uh, summoning my... Uh... Oop, I just turned off the aura. All right, so there it is. ES flies up to full. Let me go stand in the middle of a pack so we can kind of just get an idea of like how fast this is going up. If I just sit here and just don't do a whole lot, just summon these guys back around me every once in a while to like keep rocking their uh, their thing. You can kind of see the energy shield is just flying up, right? Yep, you can see it's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I'm running in feeble, so that helps a little bit with the defenses. Uh, the goatmen are pretty strong. I don't know. I mean, it's a level 83 map. Goatman ripped through it pretty easy. I, I don't have a lot of movement speed right now. I need to uh, upgrade my boot, my boot slot there. But okay, some of these uh, essences are a little juicy. All right, sweet. I noticed when I take damage. By the way, that's a good uh, example there. It chunked half my health and half of my ES bar. And the reason for that is because on Corrupted Soul, half of the damage goes through the ES and half of the damage is taken from the ES. Now this sounds like a downside, but it's actually an upside. Because what it means is that my life regen it can uh, be more useful because it'll fill up the globe and then it'll fill up the ES after. And so I'm kind of just like staggering the damage I'm taking. I've also got Mind Over Matter, although it's not very useful. I would drop this if I was using like any like build that like had a necessity for using mana. I would like to get a little bit more mana, but that also takes the edge off of some of the uh, hits as well. All right, folks, so that ends the video today. That was just a, a proof of concept to show how Immortal Ambition works with Corrupted Soul, Instant Leech, and the new Minion Leech Mastery. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, if you did, please send a uh, like and subscribe my way. Slowly on the path to a thousand subs so I can monetize the channel. So every little bit helps. Um, my plans for my next video, I would like to do some stuff on the Goatmen. Um, I'm just going to talk about why they're strong. Uh, I, I would also like to do something with the Reverberation Wand Squire combo and kind of just like showcase that a little bit further. And uh, maybe I would try showing some of the new Spectres from the League as well because I think there's some uh, really cool Spectres. And of course, obviously, this, this build that I have right now that I'll showcase this with is a bit of a meme build. I'm not going to stick with the Goatmen. I don't think that they're the, the best Spectre on the planet. They're just funny and um, they're great but also they make my eyes bleed with their skills and I'm going to switch them out soon because of that alone so all right well that's it all, all for today thanks guys and see you next time